Welcome to Trailblazers, an old school RuneScape tournament filled with the sweatiest, most degenerate players. And I'm one of them. My goal is to compete for the highest rank in leagues, Dragon Tier, top 1%. I begin my adventure in Missilin on a fresh account needing to complete tasks scattered around the map. The more tasks I complete, the more things I unlock, starting with powerful relics that will give me buffs and region unlocks that will grant me access to new parts of Gilinor. I have picked my regions and relics very strategically, so strap in, grab a Lunchable, and watch as my very unhealthy plan unfolds to achieve Dragon Tear. We are in, bro. It is 4 a.m. Sorry, 5 a.m. We are completing the tutorial here because why not? The new task list. I have a complete plan for the first hour or two. And I am incredibly excited to jump in, bro. Uh, hopefully we can pick our first relic. I'm just going to spam through this. I do not care. Okay. That was just a tutorial. I got scared there. Why does it feel like I'm the only one here? I'll be going Prodigy Production. Just make sure it's right. Uh, Trickster is the best start, but for late game, Dragon Tier and Maxine, I believe this will be amazing. But sadly, because of that, and ooh, we get some gear. Very nice. Sadly, because of that, I will have a very hard time starting this leagues, dude. Is this better armor than it is, dude? So I'm going to go ahead and drop that, whatever armor this is. So we're going to have a hard time getting money early on, but hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. If you guys are excited about Leagues 4 and my series, I would really appreciate a like. It helps a ton, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. I am going to be going very, very hard. I don't want to jinx it, but I just hit 12 pickpockets in a row, and I was doing this on my main earlier just to practice, <laughs> and I failed like nine times, and I have 81 thieving, so... Okay, we finally failed at six thieving. For a continue, let's open up all the pouches here for another task. Very nice, just need a couple more levels. So we had enough food, not going trickster, we cannot pickpocket, super correct. Now we have some coins, I didn't realize I didn't have coins earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy shears and a hammer. Dance at the graveyard, should be a very easy task, and then uh, head down here and then we'll fish some shrimpies. There we go, we got one there, and I just need one more for a bronze bar. So one of the tasks here, obviously light a log, and I forgot my Draymond staff, which was an absolute travesty. Uh, you can light it, brother, I believe. <laughs> this, see, Trickster automatically likes, and then since I have Prod Prodigy, I can cook all of these in one go. Yes, looks like I burned some. I know it's weird to celebrate that, but I actually wasn't burning any shrimp, and that is a task as well. So very nice, and I'll be staying here till about 10 fishing, which we're almost about just to get that herring later on. So we ran to the furnace. I'm going to keep my teleport for later as I path that out a little better. Uh, and then we're going to go grab the uh, items we need for Recipe Disaster Quest, keeping some raw shrimp to cook on that stove. And let me see, is sheep shear impossible? It seems like it would have been possible. Now that I look at it, it doesn't seem that bad. I right, just completed this quest. Uh, oh. I thought there was going to be a chest down here. I was wrong. Oh my god, I just got one HP, dude. I, I greeted because I was trying to cast spells. <laughs> so I get some XP along the way. And I mean, I'm, I'm like 5 mage. But I almost died for it. Yo, what do Ankus hit? This is the part I didn't strategize because I thought there'd be like 100 people running. So I just got 11 HP. And by the way, I'm really bad at these, dude. There we go. What do these hit, man? I think it's this way. Okay, at least I'm in combat, so I can't get PJ'd. I think that we're good. Nice, so we'll just go ahead and grab these boots, and I believe we're gonna head into... Oh God, I got another one wrong, dude. I know you can just spam, but sometimes when I spam, it doesn't do anything, so I just answer them anyways. <laughs> so. so we gotta buy a staff. Pretty much going melee build, but we'll be using mage for the first early start to the game. Buy a newspaper for a diary. Uh, but yeah, that's 1,500 gold. I would, after this, buy some swords, but I do not actually have enough money to buy an adamant or myth sword. I was planning to, but sadly, we are not rich without Trickster. Another thing I added is we're going to be killing a lot of things, so I need to buy... We're going to start with... Oh, I guess you don't even get the power to turn into runes. That is so weird, bro. Start with 180 mines and 340 airs, and maybe we can kill a guard. 
We'll see if there's one available. Looks like uh, we're chilling. Actually. Sadly, a lot of people can't log in the first hour. So you could just say us logging in right now is a um, <laughs> is a strat, dude. All right, listen to Elsa's story or Elsie. Very nice. Didn't drink the cup of tea. So I wanted to do Dad's Daddy's house or whatever it's called, but it actually costs about four thousand gold to buy all the supplies. So we will be starting it, and I will be buying a house for a task. So there goes another thousand big ones here. And that saw that everyone wants to grab is actually on the floor. Yoink, brother, yes sir, dude. I don't know why I need it, but everyone apparently wanted it, so. Give me the XP. What did I get? 20 Hunter, 20 Slayer from that. Very nice. Well, let's go ahead and do a little quick travel to Fossil Island. Very nice. And then I couldn't find the dog in Barak. We're gonna go ahead and pet this dog for another easy task. Can't really build the bank just yet. But I do have some plans, dude. I do have some plans. And then we'll head down to Dig Sai and mine, or sorry, uh, pan for that opal. Ooh, that did not take that long at all. Very nice. We'll head to our areas here and teleport to Karumja for the Karumja grind. And hopefully we can pick a pineapple. Uh, and then we got to enter Brimhaven. So uh, look at, even without doing Daddy's House, I'm still down 4,000 gold. I would have been 2K gold right now, and it would have been very, very bad. Yo, the pineapple's up, and there's no one in sight, bro. Give me that pineapple. That is a bonus, dude. Oh, it's up again. Interesting, dude. All right, and then we're going to talk to the dude who owns the cart. And apparently if you talk to him and not do the option, you'll spend less money. I still think it's gonna be a substantial amount though. Bought the spiny helm and the gem. Let's get our first assignment ever, 34 cows. Okay, a little uh, messed up, but I like it. I do like it. I did have a death warp, but because we can use the league menu timer, we could just probably teleport on back to Lumbridge. Easy peasy, bro tree. You don't, you don't have to be that resilient. You can go down. You can go down, bro. There we go. I need to grab my pet too. Uh, we have just unlocked our relic, our second relic, I believe. So we're gonna go fairies fly. You can teleport to any fairy mushroom and to a leprechaun. I think I'm gonna need to buy Kronos teleport, which I was wondering if I needed to or not. Seems like I don't, which will save me about another thousand gold. So, so absolutely good. But this part is gonna be a struggle. Without trickster, I need to get 40 thieving from ham area. I may just get like, just a little bit of thieving. I don't know if I'll get all the way to 40. We'll see how it goes. So from here, we're looking for a Guam, which we just got, which is nice. And then I'm also looking for a steel pick, a thread. Oh, we got a J, you got a J from here too. And I, oh, there we go, steel pick unlocked, beautiful. We do need that, and a needle, and a rusty sword. All right, I just got my ass handed to me for like the 20th time. I'm making an executive decision. We are not staying there till 40 thieving. Uh, it's just wasting too much time. Sadly, we'll miss out on a couple tasks. We may come back when we get more of XP boost to make it a bit easier, but let's head into the drain ore section of the strategies. First thing we do is make fun of the citizens, dude. There we go. She took 20 gold from me for, for roasting her. Sweet. And we'll take the fishing rod and not hopefully get clapped by a dark wizard here. It's kind of scary. And we're going to fish for some herring, which was the plan all along. And we're going to fish here till 15 fishing so we can catch some sardines. And I think if we put a herring on a tree, it's another task. Be dead. Anchovy. All right, now we will start the buying phase in Draenor. Head on over to Olivia. She is, she's not even near her booth. What a horrible salesman or sales lady. Uh, and then I will buy some jugs of wine. And this will be pretty much the best food you can get for a good amount of time here. I just teleported the dual leprechaun to Draenor. What the hell? There's an area here for, oh my God. This is gonna be so cool. I should have recorded it. But yeah, you can teleport all two leprechauns so we can go straight to Varrock now. So good. And obviously we're gonna go in Draenor, have a chair follow us for some easy tasks, and we'll probably hit up some Draenor agility laps. So you start at 10 agility, already got four levels in one lap. Need 30, that's so nice. Mark of Grace also should be a task here. We are pretty. This should be the 10th lap. Uh, unfortunately, we are not 30 agility, so we gotta do a couple more laps here, but it doesn't seem to be too bad, maybe like three or four, and then we have 30. Yeah, that was not bad at all. This should definitely be 30 agility. Beautiful, unlocking the next horse. Gonna go ahead and uh, walk on over here and start Vampire Slayer. Probably should turn roofs off too. I may do that later. Oh, and I've unlocked a new area. We are gonna be picking, I wanna go wilderness starting off, but I looked at the wilderness task, and don't forget to grab that garlic, and it's not 
looking great. So sadly, not that sadly, we are going to have to pick my other region I want to go because it's going to be way better early on, and that is going to be Kandarin. So head on over to areas in the bank. Head on over to Kandarin. Just make sure it's Kandarin here. And that will be our next unlock. But we are not ready to head to Kandarin yet. Beautiful. All right, no more agility for a bit. You'll love to see it. Let's go kill a dark wizard real quick. Get 15 woodcutting, fire making, burn an oak log, and a potato patch for some reason. And then plant me some barley seeds. 13 mage. I think I'm going to go ahead and use some defensive training as well so I can just get that 5 defense real quick. Oh, another task. Didn't even realize. But with fire strike, I'll be using fire strike for a good good girthy portion of the next strategy here oh dude i got 15 fire making instantly bro that was so fast right and we can actually teleport to our barley seeds but i don't want to buy all the supplies from talking to the person so instead i'll just trade and buy some stuff here i don't even know what i need you know while we're here don't eat the pineapple please thank god we can't eat that let's go ahead and make some super compost yeah, we're looking good bro i'm feeling really good about my strat so far oh yes Woo, okay, beautiful. Barley's growing. Let me go. Damn, that's growing fast. Calm down. Oh, we get instant XP. Okay, Vampire Slayer, we're now 40 attack. So right now, I could head to Canter and do some tasks. I might just squeak around and get a couple more. 250 total, beautiful. I really want to, just like I said, my plan starts when I unlock the tier for Relic Melee, the Brawlinator, dude. So until then, we're just going to keep tasking it up. Now, I think it's about time we put these farming supplies away. Dude, taking way too much room in my envy. Let's go find that dog. We never pet the dog here. I found it. I found it. Very nice, dude. It is in such a weird area. Now, because of our smithing boost, we can actually make a bronze full home at level 1, which is a task. Still loving this absolute mammoth of a relic. I'm, I didn't even think about going fairy until uh, I just looked into it last day. And, oh my god, it's so good. Uh, but let's go ahead and do monks friend first ever random event in leagues bro i don't i actually forgot what this gives you so what do we get five a ruby we could turn that into a strength amulet later obviously we need a lot of crafting xp and uh, some construction sadly but all righty how much fishing xp do we get i am 34 fishing now i want to do sea slug but uh, there's a couple extra points i could scoop up real quickly i used to earn this should be massive combat xp though it's kind of nice starting candering because when i get to the wilderness i will have Oh my god, 50 strength, 53 attack, 25 combat, monster amount of stuff just completed. Beautiful. Welcome to the most competitive banana plant you've ever seen, bro. Everyone here is working for a penny an hour, and if you don't make your wages, you get whipped. My lord, I've never seen such a bananaless tree factory in my life. Here we are. First wear that spiny helm because I completely forgot, and then let's make... Molten glass. Oh, yes. Experience sake. Beautiful. We now got 20 crafting. My barley's up. Oh, yeah, baby. Should be pretty dope XP. And, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed, but I forgot to head on over here to the potato patch, which is some of the freest points known to man. Chop this tree and then burn a log. 30 fire making. Okay, beautiful. Let's go get stung by a bee, drink a poison chalice, maybe make a couple bowstring just because I want to do one inventory full. Make me some of the finest string, good sir. Hey, look at that XP. No task, I just want to see the XP. Would you like a poison chalice? Yes. So apparently this is a task. So drink the task of the poison chalice. I would have never known that. My viewers really clutched up for that. And moss giant down. This should count. Yay, and big bones. One fire giant kill, maybe the chance to get the rune scimitar, which would be actually clutch. I died. No, I died while I was looking at task killing a fire giant. I just see my HP go to zero, dude. Oh my god, how do I get my fairy relic back? I am sad. Ah! Rune skimmy. I'll take chaos runes. There we go. Fill a crate with bananas. I had to see if this place was popping again, and it is uh, finally ripe for the picking. All right, lesser demon down. Maybe we can find the greater demon. I am out of food, though, so this is kind of risky. Well, I tried to save spot it, dude. I guess uh, I'll call it a death warp, bro. 
<laughs> yo, yo, what do you mean? I was on the other side of the vent, dude. Feels bad. Fletch a thousand arrow shafts. I needed some more food after that death, so I thought we'd just calm her down a bit, buy some more jugs of wine after. Damn, I've already died twice, bro. Just, just uh, unfortunate deaths there. Probably all my fault, but we need more food. We are completely out. Look at this fire. My GPU's about to crash. And by the way, this snuck up on me. I didn't realize we had another relic. Now, fire sale's amazing, but with rev caves that I will be rushing towards the money cave, maybe today, hopefully today, uh, we will not need money, even though it'd be so nice right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go banker's note, meaning we can note pretty much anything and unnote anything in our inventory. This has a lot of use cases that I'll be showing you throughout this series, and some of them you might already know, and some you're gonna be uh, learning about. Oh, 57K fishing XP just did sea slug. What's my fishing? 47. Really quickly, since we have the bankers now, I thought we'd grab 50 pure S, and we don't got a bank. I'll be using these later, and I need some mining levels. Plus, I also need to wield the steel pickaxe and mine something with it. So we'll get a task done, and we'll get a future task done. Thank you very much. Should be a task. I love the smithing boost early on. I keep forgetting it's so good, though. I just reached 500 total level, dude. Oh my god, when did I get 500 total level? I'm hoping I have enough runes left. Here's our cash stack right now, 1.6k. It's looking pretty spooky. But so far, I think we're gonna make it work. I think we're gonna survive till we get to the money caves, man. Give me the XP. I wonder how much we get from this. Uh, damn. So I'm almost 60 attack, dude. That's gonna be so nice. And some thieving experience. That, oh, yo, that's so good. I'm so glad I skipped hams. I would probably be still in there. Thieving ham, dude. God, get me out of here, bro. Got a couple steel picks, couple arrows, and now we can go pickpocket from a master farmer, which I'll go do, and then I'll probably meet you at a guard. All right, pickpocket him once, and uh, it says give a guard a stew, but I don't... I don't know, I'm gonna give up on that one, dude. I, I'll figure that one out later. We got a stew, so. Nice. Our fishing's pretty high, but we should have done this a while ago. Catch a salmon, then we gotta catch about 50. There it is, give me those points. Uh, Lush in my ass, just gotta shout that guy out for his name. He didn't talk to me, but I just looked at his name, and I thought, why? Why is it so beautiful? Uh, let's see how much cooking XP we get from this before we move on to something. We're at 24 cooking, plus 12 boost. Last little bit of salmon here, and we are looking at 52 cooking. Fletch an oak bow, and then we'll make 25 stocks. 25 oak thingies all done, bro. And apparently there's a wheat field right here. I was like, where's the wheat field? My chest like literally four steps above your forehead. What is this doing here, bro? I have never seen this in my life. All right, I can finally stop killing my brethren. I think I'm gonna go try to make some butter. <laughs> Give me the butter, sir. I never knew about this. I thought only Amish people did this, so. Wow, it takes a while. Wow, man, I'm really churning that butter. There we go. Free task. I'm sad to say I forgot to go in here when I was doing the quest. This should give me a task. Yeah, so stupid, bro, that I forgot that. I have this guy teleport us to the mines. I misread the name. I forget Brimstale. Stale? Style? So we finally got around to doing sheep shear. It was not that bad at all, but I think it was worth waiting for uh, to do with the teleports. Now we're going to have Ned actually make that rope, and then we got a couple extras for amulets that we'll make later down the line. Going to fish some bait real quick. This guy, does he know he's getting his cheeks clapped by the, the hobgoblin? He might not know. I'm getting rocked down here, bro. Let me open this web. Should be a task. Beautiful. All right, stole some silk. Stole a slice of cake. I think our super compo should be ready. Might be wrong. Oh, yes. Give me, give me, give me. Yes, dude. Beautiful. 40 points. So I'm so poor, I had to go loot these planks off Fossil Island. But we're going to build us some chairs. I'm hoping to get five. Oh my god, how many nails am I going to bend, dude? Jeez. Oh, I literally get five from one chair. Maybe we can go for ten then. Now, if I can get my uh, herb up and then my range up, we'll have five base totals. All right, this should be base fives right here, just cleaning herbs. Secondary seem a bit harder to eat your hands on. And we got an easy and a beginner clue. So let's see if we can do this. We're able to complete them both. The fairy... Relic is a godsend for clues. It's crazy. We'll go ahead and open the easy first. We got a unique, which may be... And we got a studded body, which is actually nice in a coif. Uh, 
Yes, two tasks. All right, come on. Come on, big... Oh, that was easy. <laughs> no wonder. As a beginner. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, apparently there's a guard in this tree. Thanks to my boy Dark Adder, dude. Did not know about that. So do we just use this stew on the tree? There you go. Oh, we got 30 gold, bro. Another random event. Sadly, the same damn one, though. Five emeralds. All right, rings of dueling, possibly, or whatever else you'd make with that. Just chopping, then burning 100 willow logs. We are incredibly close. 13 tasks to the wilderness. I cannot wait. Then we can finally have us some money. Oh, finally, bird's nest. I was hoping we get that free task there. Uh, willow tree seed, not bad. Beautiful. Give me those 40 points. Boys, it's looking really good. Finally completed the mine 10 10 ore task. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Uh, but apparently, my boy Socks out here giving us the scoop on a, uh, what's it called again? Star mining. That big old dramatic thing people were talking about a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can get some points for that and not stay too long. Oh, I think I just barely made it in time, man. This thing's getting clapped up. So I sold a lot of the quest supplies and extra steel stuff. So I have a bit of extra cash, meaning I can now buy some stuff. So where did that? Did I just buy this for no reason? I thought I was like, where is steel? Oh my god, right, this should be a task. <laughs> I just burned just burn like 800 gold. And then I got that studded top from the clue and we can combine that with the chaps. Oh. oh, sick, 50 combat. I didn't realize that was a task. That is actually incredibly clutch. 30 defense, beautiful. Now we can wield this willow shield task. And then the full studded. And I think I might just stay here till 60 attack because that's going to be my first level 60 and I definitely need 60 attack for what I'm about to do. They said it's, it's ready for me, baby. Come on. Come on, yes. Yes, wait, is it a task? Would, uh, have I got any XP for this yet? I don't know how this works. I've never done this. Like, the whole time this was happening, the drama over star mining, I was just so lost. I didn't follow it. Is it doing anything, though? I feel like I'm not helping. Oh. Hey, we just unlocked our Tier 4 Relic as well. So time to unlock the Relic here. Let's go Brawler's Resolve. First time unlocking this, of course. going to be centered around our build. It's going to make our weapon very fast. We'll be immune to poison, venom, and fire breath. 50% accuracy and also 50% boosted defense. It's going to be sick. I can't believe we get it on this early, bro. Oh my god. How are we doing this with no money? And I wonder... So I don't have the best weapon for this. You want like a tier a 4 tick or 5 tick weapon. But let's see how this, this feels. I don't know if this even makes it any faster. This might just be the fastest weapon goes. Eh, it feels like a little faster. <laughs> oh, I missed my 60 attack level up, bro. Why am I even alive? Thank you very much, bird. I'll be taking that. And then uh, I also spent the remainder of money on this steel plate, which cost me 2,000 gold. We are officially poor, not knowing the task list, and having only 10,000 gold to work with. This was pretty, pretty good. I am kind of scared, though, that the wilderness is about to get incredibly active, so let's unlock this as fast as possible. And I think you know exactly where we're headed, straight to the money caves. All right, we're wandering into revs, brother. Let's go. I need money, and I knew it was going to be active. As soon as we get some money, we're getting upgrades instantly. Uh, we shouldn't take too much damage from these revs. We'll see what we get. Literally rev caves, we can get money. We get the dragon longsword early on. Everything's up for grabs, dude. First absolute banger drop, just battle stabs. So since I don't have alk, and this is kind of scary because I also don't have overheads, uh, we gotta head over to the shop here and uh, not die. Oh, there we go, 15K, beautiful. And I believe we can use this in the wild. Dude, someone's already up here just going ham, bro. Whatever the hell he's doing. All right, rune maze, 14K. Oh yeah, bro, this maze is sick. It's so fast, it's throwing me off. Uh, I wonder if I can kill hobgoblins with this now. I might have to wait till a revenant bracelet. I do take a lot of damage. 
<laughs> That's amazing. So this man's a fan, and I'm glad he's a fan, but you just can't take my spot, brother. Sorry, man. There's not, there's nothing you can do, even with prayer. So if you want to run out of some, <laughs> just get out of here, dude. What do you think was gonna happen, bro? You think I was gonna let you take my hobgoblin spot? Or my goblin spot here? I ain't that nice, bro. He's like, yeah, I love you, man. Heart hearts are like, hey, I love you too, dude. But get get out of my spot, bro. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make some money. Oh, double rune kite shield, bro. Let's go buy that rune sword, a rune long sword, and hopefully not die on the way in, because like I said, it is pretty damn scary. We ended up getting a double plate leg drop, so we're going to keep one of each, get 40 defense, but go ahead and buy that rune long sword god look at this thing go dude i just hit a 20 it's massive i might be able to just farm hobgoblins now without a bracelet just because of how massive this item is uh but i did mess up i could have probably bought a dragon long sword if i sold everything uh that's fine though and these super stores by the way are gonna be clutch since i'm not gonna have any potions early on therefore i can now enable to do early early on bossing yes that is a massive drop dude we have about 200 effort to put in this bracelet now we're not gonna take as much damage, uh, another task. I haven't looked at any of the wilderness tasks, by the way. Well, I, I know some, but these are all surprises to me. 40 defense, pop that on. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Maybe it's foreign. And look at all the, my negative attack levels from those jugs. Uh, <laughs> we're not ready. We're not ready. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I wonder if I can kill that day one, dude. It's time, boys. I don't know if this guy buys a rev brace, so I got like a little bit more than I needed. So let me just see, because we got an extra one, so we don't need this. He does! Oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, so you do need the diamond. That's funny. <laughs> okay, well, thank God we got a diamond, dude. I would like to say I routed that, but I didn't. I just have a diamond from Waterfall. Buy it from this guy. Very nice. 100k. And I believe this is a task. Beautiful. 80 points. Looking like an absolute superstar. I'm going to use a rev tally. I wonder... I might get my butt cheek split, but I do wonder if I could just fight whatever, you know? This guy's got his knight thing going on, I gotta ruin it for him. Even though I could just two spec him if I wanted to, but uh, yeah, maybe this is like above our pay grade. I would be surprised. Oh, we finally killed it, was not worth it never again, but you know, we did it. We went from revenant imp to slapping a knight and literally. 20 minutes of play time. Oh, yo, 750 total. Yeah, right now I'm just doing an hour of money making. Honestly, I just haven't made that much since I started, but I want to walk out with a, a nice amount of cash and then uh, continue with the plan here. Oh, I really want this pyrofiend spot, dude. Do we do it to him? <laughs> do we do it to him? Oh, we're bad. He didn't even die. Sorry, brother. I need the spot. <sighs> All right, he did. Well, I'm sure karma will... Uh, Come back in some way, if not, it already has. But I do need this paraffin spot, brother. Sorry. Rune plate body. Now we have the four rune set. Only 40 points, though. You'd have thought that would have been like a crazier amount of points, but okay. So I finally lost Skull, which is um, amazing. And let's take a look at the bag. I'm just going to put everything in there except for my food and supplies. Yeah, 891k. <laughs> you got an ancient crystal hurts, but yeah, we are uh, now pretty rich I'll probably kill one more and then I think it's time to head to green dragons and yes in the same inventory We don't need a bank because we have the bank note, so I don't need an anti-fire shield, which is interesting uh, Not that we couldn't get one and these dragons are just getting slaughtered Absolutely slaughtered and since we have Kandrin, I could just go ahead and get piety right now Will I? I'm not sure. I kind of want to. Might be really worth it. And I'm not sure how many prayer levels we're going to get, but we got 67 dragon bones. Same inventory. I am loving this relic here. And uh, yeah, let's see what prayer level. We're starting at level 10. And we got one more bone left. Do we get that level? The legendary bone. 60 prayer. Oh yeah, I bet it's a tassel. Like put melee prayer on. Yeah. I didn't even think about doing that, dude. Just put all the prayers on. I think this is a task. <laughs> Why not? Just start clicking on stuff, dude. 
I'm sure some of these are tasks. Yep, there we go. Look at me, bro. I'm a god at the game. All right. Completely forgot about that. Free couple hundred points. 70 strength. I may or may not have missed it, but that's okay. First level 70 of the series. Last dragon, hopefully. I didn't really calculate any of this. I'm just assuming that with... Let's see how many bones we got here. Uh, do, 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 94 bones from 60. We should have piety. 75 combat. Didn't know that was a task. Unfortunately... We are not going to be hitting 70 this envy, but 68, almost 69 is pretty good. And we got it. 70 prayer. We can now use piety. All we have to do is that random mini game. I think the quest is complete, hopefully. Actually, I was going to log out and show you guys the high scores because, uh, you know, it's kind of fun to do that. So let's go ahead and refresh, see where we're at here. Oh, God, I got to put my name in. I am rank four in strength, dear God, and rank seven in prayer. Not bad. Cheeky little, uh, what is this, task completed hide penetrator? That's what she said, thank you very much. I uh, didn't lose any f HP at all during that, just took a good while to kill. I might be the first ever King Black Dragon kill. Oh, dude, damn, I should have recorded that. How much XP did I just get? I got like 400,000 XP from that. Oh, that was such a struggle. 83 combat just rocked me right on up. Ooh, and some HP XP. And now we have... What's going on here? Huh? You just, you just left? Give me piety, bro. Yo! Oh, okay. Let me just clarify I'm a dumbass. I need 70 defense. <laughs> My whole chat was wondering, and then a couple uh, intelligent people replied. So, uh, yeah, that was my fault. I've just been playing so much today, bro. All right. Yeah, yeah. 70 defense. That might be the next grind to go for then, because uh, Piety's going to be amazing. So good with his build. So before we head back to the wild, we are doing a couple things, and I think that gave us, yeah, 26 construction. Just finished Daddy's Home now that we can finally afford it. We got the crate, a couple supplies. Last envy we make, I, uh, you know, I'm not a calculator, dude. I'm just going to go ahead and see if this gives me above 40. Who needs a butler when you can unnote things at your will? Which is fantastic. Yeah, going to get in a butler would have been so annoying right now. Would not want to do that. Uh, let's see. I do need to build a workshop for later. And then we build a room finally, and then I will just go uh, ham wild on these chairs and see what happens. Actually, I, I wanted to make one more larder for the clip, but I think we have enough oak planks to make what I actually want to make now. We got all the way to 49 construction, which was crazy. And uh, is it the tool space? Maybe we make that one, bro. You can tell I've not done this before. There we go. That's what I want. I want all of the molds. Now we can make ourselves a necklace, but we'll grab all the molds while we have it. And I want to make one more thing in this room, but I need to go grab some more supplies. Next thing is the clock making space. We need to do that one and then upgrade it. We got a molten glass. So I were making so much molten glass earlier. And apparently we can make our birdhouse mechanics here. And I really want to do that day one. I was kind of hating doing this. I think some people don't mind it, but just just so, so many intricate parts in this plan. And it's finally done. Well, one more thing we gotta do. Alrighty, I've been needing to do this. We're gonna build the, uh, the bank. That's the task. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all the teleports and I completely forgot oak trees for the first birdhouse runs of my life, so I gotta go grab some oak logs, but that's fine. All right, unlock the full mushroom, that's what, never mind. And we have, you know, I'm so happy that they're both next to each other. That's how long it's been that I forgot that there was two birdhouses next to each other. Now we'll get, and I'm just eating the first meal of the day now, but now we will get slow passive hunter XP, so we don't gotta train hunter, low level hunter kinda sucks and some good seeds. Making some molten glass, because I do need some better crafting levels. Got about 91 now, which is pretty nice. And uh, why need crafting levels? To make an amulet of strength. But once I get the crafting, I still need to get some mage levels, because my mage is extremely low, and I have a plan for that. But the worst part is the construction and the amulet grind. 
and we are done. It's really nice how everything worked out. I just have all of the supplies ready. Sometimes it was prepped, sometimes it was just fate. I didn't really need that task, but that's nice too. Uh, and I need 49 mage to enchant it. I'm kitted out about a thousand chaos runes, a couple death runes because I got them from revs. I'm gonna kill one lava dragon, don't need it for prayer, just probably a task, and then a couple other things I can kill with some mage till we get 49. First lava dragon kill, thank you very much. I guess I'll just bury uh, the bones and I'll just note all of the uh, drops because I can. Oh, look at that, more points. And I think a death spell is gonna be a task. Very nice, very nice. I think it's a task, will they? Uh, yeah, nice, bro. Dude, this is just great for tasks for some reason. It's just everything you need over here. Uh, I think it was a great choice. Look, at what is? what are these points, bro? What are these points right now? Finally, 55 magic. Let's get on out of here. I think we can go here. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I'm going to try it one more time. But... Oh, it's because I'm teleporting to areas that are not in my... <laughs> That's why it didn't work, bro. I was wondering, well, half the time I was trying to teleport out, I don't have the region unlocked. Okay, this is the only area I know where you can buy cosmic runes, or maybe you can buy them from the uh, Zamorak Mage with the Abyss. I didn't really check, but we'll be coming here for these bad boys, so we don't need too many. And then they do have nature runes. I think I'm just going to buy a good amount so I can alk. All right, my bad. I could have just made it, like, literally here. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I needed to go back to the furnace. Oh, strength amulet. So good. We also bought some bronze gloves. Our strength bonus is looking uh, mediocre, but better. But better. I do have a moss giant task. I think I'm going to go finish that off while in the wilderness and training defense to unlock Pity. It's not a rain R, but we got how good moss giants are for seeds. I might actually start growing some herbs day one. Ooh, exactly what I wanted. Larian's key is going to be a big part of my strategy going forward. Is collecting as many Larian's keys as I can get day one with obviously the drop rates. I should be getting one, but it's just nice to see. Hopefully we get a couple. And then a long bone. That is, um, okay, we'll, we'll take that as well. I don't care. But yes, yeah, so if we get pure S-drop, we're talking disgusting runecrafting XP. Do you guys see what I see? Rainar Seed. I am not sure when I finished it, but apparently the Slayer task is over. We got Nine mossy keys, a larens. Uh, I think I want to turn this larens again in, but first I'm gonna head into revs and uh, just finish up 70 defense. Since I forgot my bracelet, we just grabbed another one, which is so nice. And I almost forgot to say, I now have 60 mage from just casually alking, meaning we can take the blood runes in the bag and in the bank and go unlock god spells. <laughs> I, I asked this man. Yo, why are you using that DDS? He goes, no diamond. As soon as I asked that, two long swords on the floor. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I have to alchem both for some fat, juicy money. All right, he just got one like a minute later, dude. Very nice, bro. And he's got the salve on. This man's ready. Oh, I was just testing it out, but I guess chivalry is uh, a task. Oh, I was doing a rev boss, and someone hit it, so now it's, it's, it's nothing, so... I guess that's a mechanic. You know, I just got my first slightly rare drop, some magic seeds, man. I can't use them yet, but I feel like that is such a banger of a drop, I don't even mind. No way I get more magic seeds. Uh, yo, thank you for that, that sub, my dude. I can't believe we just got more magic. We got 10 magic seeds. That was like three kills apart. Once I can grow those, it's going to be a good time, but that won't be for quite a while. Yo, dude, every time I stop recording, something good happens. We just got two, two Dragonstone, just what I really wanted, because I could just power level my crafting. It's not bad at all. Uh, that'll be a glory and a combat bracelet. Yo, double the legs, or is it just one of the legs? Yeah, just one of the legs. Boom, should be a point, though, and uh, an upgrade. Not best in slot, but probably best in slot for defense. In my current build, I don't think I can get anything better than Dragon Legs defense-wise, but I do have a plan for a full armor set in the future that should be very, very strong. 70 defense, very nice, very nice indeed. Let's go ahead and pop the Pity. 
80 big ones and best in slot melee because I am not going to be going runious prayers. And this probably won't happen, but let's give it another try. Someone ruined it again for me, bro. Whatever. Come here. Yeah, I, I don't care, bro. You're getting reset forever hitting my thing. I'm so tired of people doing that. It's a stupid mechanic, but I mean, you know... <laughs> you blood, blood blitzing me? Get out of here. So he ruined the kill. I think I could have actually done it too. That's the sad part. And this man came out of nowhere. So I just tried Vedion with the Dragon Longsword. Uh, this, that was a no-go. Zero damage. But we now have a Crush Web. We got the Rune Warhammer we got from Revs. Just, just wonder, do we hit? Do we hit? Oh. But I really only need one kill for a task. 42! First kill of Vedion. I really just get coins. I think I'll do another one though, because these restores are really the only part of uh, that I just drain through, because I really need piety for damage. Takes a lot of supplies, so just one more kill. Limp roots. I usually hate limp root drops, but but I actually need them. Four secondaries and questing. Go down, big boy. Yeah, this is not worth it, but. We'll just get a kill so we can get those points. I, uh, I have a couple weapons that I could try in the future that might be substantially better. But for now... Oh god, it's booty drops, dude! Absolutely booty drops. Could have been something really nice. Hey, The Chaos Ellie is dead. That took 10 years and I got a super strength pot, which is nice because that is the first one on the account. I am standing up and my dog is running around right now. And uh, he's hyper, so sweet. We're gonna go ahead and start. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and make our way on over to the major arena. I'd, I'd say, dear God. Alrighty, completing this. Uh, it was about time. I will be grabbing my Zamorak uh, flames, like usual. Zami cape, best cape, and I'll probably go ahead and just unlock the spell. We have plenty of blood runes from Revs, just to show you guys. We're rocking about 500. 62 mage, meaning we can cast our first blood spell. So I'm going to take that opportunity to do that. And we just unlocked our tier 5 relic. So once we cast all these spells, I will tell you which one I will be unlocking, because uh, I kind of changed my mind last minute due to the information that I just learned. Completely forgot to get some free points. Only cost about 7,000 gold. Probably a good time turning this Laren's key as we're legit right next to it. I'll take magic logs. Can't do anything with them yet, but uh, that will not always be that way. I'm also going to head down into the uh, deep dungeon. I don't even know if it has a name. Deep wilderness dungeon to kill a couple mobs down here for some very simple points. So, kill a little giant dwarf. Is that what they're called? Giant dwarfs? No. A dwarf and a fire giant. I mixed them both up. God, I'm tired. Well, I killed it. Sure, I use melee, but it's dead, so... That's a win. Rune cross, another shark, huh? That's um, kind of unfortunate. <laughs> We're going for all the wilderness bosses, by the way, if you can't tell. What is that? Combat task? Oh, cool. But I need to buy a little more blood runes and uh, see if we can finish off the f final two. I think we'll be able to kill everything but the diary locked single bosses because the diary requirements are kind of out of my hands for day one. All right, just took out Scorpia with Snare. That was uh, not super fun. And I realized I forgot to unlock my <laughs> my new relic. So next time at the bank, uh, hopefully I remember. I'm getting a little forgetful as I've been up for multiple hours now. Uh, but I want to see if I can kill Callisto. I don't have high range. I got 20 range. And I did some attempts on Callisto in the main game with Low Mage and Snare. It's possible, but it's not viable. It's really, I shouldn't even be going for it. So this is probably going to be a fail, but I want to see, can we take him out with Wind Wave? I would have used Ami Flames, but no auto cast, and that is just way worse. So I'm probably just going to give up on this. I got about 500 HP, but that was such a waste of supplies, man. I feel, uh, 
Sad that I even tried that. For my next relic, I was gonna go Bloodthirsty, but then I read it, and it is a Slayer relic, which I was gonna go Heavy Slayer, I still am. But you can't choose your Slayer task, and that kinda sucks, cause without that, it's gonna be harder to do Revenants, Demonic Gorillas, Triton Unlock with Kraken. This is brutal, kinda sucks, but that does give me the opportunity to go Treasure Seeker. Apparently there's a bug and they're working to fix it or already have fixed it, but this makes it incredibly easy to do clues and you get a ton of clues. So we're gonna be swimming in clues, short steps, love to see it. Let's go ahead and go Treasure for the next relic. Right about time to collect this birdhouse run. A couple hours over to you. Yeah. I'm not great. Oh, 1,000 total. That snuck up on me. Jesus, I'm sweaty. Look at this guy just mining away, bro. Respectable. Love to see it. Yeah, first birdhouse run. We already do willows. That It's some crazy experience. I went from like 2100 to 36 in four oaks. Mine 50 iron ore. Cool. I did not know that was a task. I was just going to chill a little bit, skill, get my mining up. Uh, not efficiently, of course. Just going to sit back and just think about everything we did today. It was a lot. Need to get my mining up too, so those shooting star events don't kick me off like a peasant. And plus for Karumja Medium Diaries, don't want to spoil episode 2 too much, but uh, we do got to get some skills up for future diaries because it does have a big part in our plan. Now that we have cash, we can finally put some money into skilling. Oh god, I am, it's so weird just not having to open these. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't think I'll go over like 7,000 anytime soon, but we're gonna head on over to the Barbarian Assault area to learn Barbarian Fishing. Had a very long day one of Leagues 4. Started off uh, waking up at 4 a.m., now it is 9 p.m., and I think we got a lot of stuff done, you know? We conquered Kandarin, we clapped the majority of the monsters in the wild, we got a lot of skilling done, birdhouses, D long, it feels great. I'm about to check my score on the rank, probably log out, but if you guys want more of this content, which I'll be uploading, just how often do you want it? Let me know, drop a like, and subscribe so you don't miss out on this sweet adventure. I'll be doing some barbarian fishing while editing this video, but let's see how we ranked. I'm gonna log out really quickly here and pop open the high scores. So refresh this bad boy. I always do that, man. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm so tired. Third time's a charm, bro. There we go. So. Overall, we're rank 1,500, and I gotta say, I'm not gonna be a top rank because I didn't go Trickster, I didn't go Fire Sale, but being in the top 1,500, having a top 140 strength when I'm not going for that, and then uh, for League Points also being a top 2K, when my build is a slow progression that will get better over time is kind of insane. So, uh, yeah, this went really really well suck a fat one <laughs> all right see you guys next episode <laughs>